centripetal motion is the motion of a mass traveling in a circle, and a centripetal force is the force making that mass go in a circle. People get confused because they think centripetal forces are a special kind of force, but they're not. The centripetal force could be any of the forces we've talked about because any of those forces can make a mass go in a circle. Common examples include gravity, the force of magnetism, and tension. So no matter what force is causing it, if a mass is going in a circle, don't forget to consider using this equation, sum of the forces equals mv squared over r. The v squared over r is just called the centripetal acceleration, and it's measured in meters per second squared just like any other kind of acceleration. We give it a special name because this type of acceleration does not speed you up or slow you down, it just changes the direction of the velocity. Since acceleration is a change in velocity, even changing direction counts as acceleration. If the speed of the mass is constant, you can use the formula speed equals 2 pi r over period. Since 2 pi r is the distance the mass travels, one circumference, and the period is the time it takes for the mass to go in one circle. In other words, the distance per time, which is just the speed. When you're ready to use this formula, you do what you always do with some of the forces. You plug the forces into the left-hand side and you solve for whatever it is you're looking for. Some people have trouble determining whether the forces should be positive or negative. Forces directed into the circle are always considered positive, regardless of whether they're going up or down. In this example, both forces are pointing downward, but they're still considered positive since they point toward the center of the circle. In this example, the downwards force is considered positive since it points toward the center of the circle, but the upwards force is considered negative since it points away from the center of the circle. In this case, static friction acts as a centripetal force and points toward the center of the circle. But what do you do with the normal force in mg? They don't point into or out of the circle. If a force does not point into or out of a circle, don't include it in sum of the forces equals mv squared over r. You can use sum of the forces equals ma in whatever direction they point, but don't include them in the centripetal forces calculation. One of the most famous cases of centripetal motion is the orbital motion of planets around the sun. The force of gravity causes Earth to travel in nearly a perfect circle around the sun. Since the force of gravity is pointing toward the center of the circle, we count it as a positive force and include it on the left-hand side of sum of the forces equals mv squared over r. Notice that the m in mv squared over r is always the mass of the object going in the circle. In this case, it's the Earth. Since the mass of the Earth is on both sides of the equation, we can cross it out. Similarly, we can get rid of one of the r's on each side of the equation and then we can just solve for whatever it is the problem is asking us to find. Keep in mind that sometimes you have to substitute in for v the formula speed is 2 pi r over the period. 